Before there was Columbine, Virginia Tech, or any other major school shooting in recent memory, there was Atlantic Shores Christian School. Now, the horrifying shooting happened in December of 1988. A student shot two teachers at the school in Virginia Beach, killing one of them. Tonight, a look back at the innocence lost, including an interview from the man who pulled the trigger. Turn on your side, Danny Fox, now with a story you'll see only on 10. Andy? Tom and Anita, innocence lost. Our research shows this is the only student-involved fatal shooting at a school in Hampton Roads in its history. One of our fellow employees here at Wavy, Corey Kaplan, was there on that dark day. I really can't hear a gunshot without thinking about that moment. That moment, December 16th, 1988, haunts Corey Kaplan, who back then was a 12-year-old eighth grader. And then we heard the, you know, pop, pop, pop. And then moments later, she was like, get down, get down under your desk. That December day, all hell broke loose at Atlantic Shores Christian School. We heard the sounds as Nicholas came from Mrs. Farley's trailer. 16-year-old Nicholas Elliott had just shot and killed beloved Atlantic Shores teacher Karen Farley. Her daughter, Laura, also a student, remembers when she first heard her mother was dead. So they told us that, and of course we broke down. After killing Laura's mother, Elliott's rage took him hunting for more victims shot Mr. Marino over here. Assistant, Assistant Principal Marino Sam Marino would be shot twice, but would twice live. And then chased the algebra teacher down this way. Luckily, that teacher not shot. And then he ran back this way and came up into this trailer to confront the bully. Elliot's rage stemmed from an insufferable school bully we will not identify. As he aims the gun to shoot the bully, the gun jams. Nicholas then tackled and disarmed. The bullying and the torment was like, it was unrelenting. In his only media interview, Nicholas Elliott agreed to talk to us from the Nottaway Correctional Center, where he is serving a life sentence. I saw no light at the end of the tunnel, like, other than to, you know, resort to something more powerful that, you know, he couldn't combat. Kaplan, who has been friends with Elliott, went to Nottaway to ask some tough questions. Did you ask him whether he could have killed you? Yes. I mean, I was just young and angry made the biggest mistake of my life. What I found out was it was a blind rage and he probably would have killed everyone. Back at the school with her mother dead, Laura waited for her father. My dad showed up a few minutes later. We sat there and just cried. Why did you shoot Mrs. Farley? I can't really answer that. It doesn't make any sense when you're just filled with rage. You, don't, you do things that don't make any sense. Laura and her younger brother, Will, seen here on campus three days after the shootings, wanted answers from Nicholas, too, and like Corey, went to Nottaway. He honestly thought we were going to try to um, bring in a weapon of some sort and, um, and hurt him. But Elliot got an unexpected surprise from Laura and Will. We forgive you. First thing you said to him. First thing we said to him. What did he do? He and my brother were crying. Forgiveness. But they asked Elliot to fill in gaps on what happened that dark day. And he was even loading the gun in um, a school van. And a kid turned around and saw him loading the gun and didn't say anything. Elliot kept telling Laura and Will how sorry he was. Uh, it's extreme because, I mean, she was totally innocent. And I just, I had no right doing what I did. I, I, constantly uh, think on how I messed my life up and mess other people's lives up. Elliot has been up for parole many times over the years, all denied. Get this, Laura hopes he is paroled. Amazingly, the one who lost the most is the one forgiving the most. Man, he's free. He comes into this community. I said, hey. Will he be welcomed in your home? Yes, yes. Yeah, why not? If I don't show him the love of Christ, who's going to show it to him? Amazing. Go to wavy.com and click our investigation. We will send you to former student Corey Kaplan's blog on the events of that dark December day, 1988, and his interview with Nicholas Elliott seeking answers from him. We will also post our full phone interview with Elliott that we conducted yesterday. I'm Andy Fox. Ten on your side.